In this video, we're going to show you exactly how to download and install Better Minecraft Neo Forge, also known as BMC5. This is the 1.21 version of Better Minecraft, and we're going to show you exactly how to get in this video, get all of the new 1.21 features, but get all the awesome mods that come with a Better Minecraft style mod pack, including bosses and dungeons and quests and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and jump on into it. In order to get Better Minecraft, you're going to need Curse Forge. To download the Curse Forge launcher, you want to go here. This is the the second link in the description down below and this is our in-depth guide on getting curse forge it goes over everything you need to know we're gonna be going over the basics in this video but if you want to like in-depth look at the launcher with like how to change settings and install custom mods and things like that this guide here will help you do that as well as the text guide down below but once you're here go ahead and click on the download curse forge button here to go to curse forge's official download page on this page you want to go ahead and click download standalone and when you do you may need to keep or save the file but it's a hundred percent safe to do that. While this is downloading, how to mushroom our company, Simple Game Hosting. At Simple Game Hosting, you can easily start a better Minecraft 5 or any better Minecraft or all the mods or any modded Minecraft server that you want. You can add any mods that you want, and we have hundreds of mod packs with one click installation as well. Plus, if you have any issues along the way, there's expert live chat support there to help you out. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below. The breakdown.xyz SGH and start your Minecraft server the simple way. Installing CurseForge now that it's downloaded is actually actually super easy. All you've got to do is minimize your browser and find the CurseForge file that you downloaded. Most likely it's going to be in your downloads folder here, as you can see it is for me. And then once you found it, just double click on it. And then it installs just like any other app. As you can see, we have the CurseForge Windows installer here. Click on next. Go ahead and agree to their terms of service, assuming that you do. Click on next again, and now it's going to download and install. It's that quick and easy. Once it's installed, you'll get a desktop icon, and it should go ahead and open up right like this. If it doesn't open up, you can always use that desktop icon to open it. Now, there is a little intro here that can be helpful to go through. Some different stuff about, you know, how it supports my creators, which is amazing. Love to see that. And some of the other stuff that you can do with CurseForge. And then finally, it'll say get started here. It'll start to get everything ready, but you still need to make sure Minecraft is ready. Luckily, this is done within the CurseForge app as well. As you can see, it says Minecraft here, but it's not installed. Go ahead and click on it, and then make sure Standard is checked, and then click Continue. And now, it's going to get everything ready for your Minecraft mod packs. You don't have to do anything else from here in order to get Minecraft ready to go with the CurseForge launcher. Once Minecraft is ready to go in CurseForge, you'll land here. This is the My Mod Packs tab. Up here at the top, we can actually search for BMC5. Hit Enter, and there it is. Better Minecraft, NeoForge, BMC5. Click this orange install button and Better Minecraft will begin installing. You can go back to the My Mod Packs tab here and see the progress of it, but you will also be able to play this once you're here. So let me show you what that looks like whenever it's done installing. And actually, while it's installing, it's not uncommon for Better Minecraft and their Mod Packs to need more RAM. You don't do this like you would traditionally do it. So what we want to do is go down to this cogwheel, this settings in the bottom left, then go to Minecraft, then scroll all the way down, and you can see the allocated memory here. I currently have 10,000 me megabytes, which is 10 gigabytes. If you wanted to do 8 gigabytes, you could do 8,000. If you wanted to do 6, you would do 6,000, so on and so forth. Right now, this is a very small mod pack at the time I'm making this video, but later on in the life cycle of Better Minecraft 5, it wouldn't surprise me if you do need 10 gigabytes gigabytes or eight gigabytes of RAM to play this. So never dedicate more than half of the RAM your computer has here to Minecraft, but generally eight, 10 gigabytes, or at least six gigabytes is needed for better Minecraft. We can go ahead and close out of those settings once those are set. And now just wait for this to finish. Once better Minecraft is downloaded, you will have it here. You can go ahead and click play on it and the Minecraft launcher will open up. This is the default Minecraft launcher that you normally use to play Minecraft with, but you will need to log into your Microsoft account in order to actually play. So let me go ahead and do that. And once you've logged in, it is just the normal Minecraft launcher. We can go to Minecraft Java Edition on the left hand side. And there it is. Better Minecraft is already selected here in the bottom left. If not, just click here and select it. Click play and click play again, and now Minecraft will open with the Better Minecraft mod pack installed. Once Better Minecraft is open, you can obviously play a single player world, or you can go and play on a server. For example, a simple gamehosting.com server, which I set up here and is set up and ready to join. Like I said at the beginning, you can get a BMC5 server set up in just a few minutes. It's super easy. But once we are in game, we are now in Better Minecraft 5. Things look great. This is amazing to see a Better Minecraft coming to 1.21. Better Minecraft is one of my personal favorite Minecraft mod packs because it adds 
a bunch of cool things to Minecraft without making it not Minecraft, if that makes sense. So everything still feels like it is Minecraft, even though it's got a ton of mods and a ton of additional features, including uh, new biomes, which... Uh, there's one, I think, right here, maybe. Tons of amazing stuff. So, there you have it. That's how you can play a better Minecraft 5 in Minecraft 1.21. If you've got any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. We'll see you in the next video. I am out. Peace.